So today is going to be a pretty interesting review because I have been gifted a very special um, sample kit of fragrance oils from a company called Riddle Oil. So I'm pretty excited about this because in here, which I will show you, there are seven of their their oils. So first of all, this brand is pretty cool. So it comes all the way from California and um, hypoallergenic, alcohol free, free of toxins, cruelty free, you know, basically everything you could want out of a company, right? And also another thing that piqued my interest here is that their fragrances like I mentioned, do not have alcohol. And I mean, you know, anyone who knows anything about perfumes and things like that, 99% of them have alcohol in them because it usually helps spread out the scent and all that. The problem with alcohol is that it can be irritating to the skin. So what Riddle Oil does here is they cut out the alcohol and really this is just, uh, I mean, it's in their name, oil, uh, fragrance oil. And I have used fragrance oil in the past, like essential oils, that sort of thing. So this is, like I said, this is their their kit here of their oils. And they also sent a nice little card here for me. And I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to start with their original sample here, which is called Original. And these samples are pretty cute. They have the, it's hard to see, but it has the title of it, and then it has a, where is it? There's a question mark. Yeah. Question mark. Um, which I think is just kind of a nice little style uh, to have. So, on their website, they have the little scent profiles of each of their oils here. And for original, it is an amber musk scent. So, it's it's a light musk though, so it's pretty clean and light. And, oh, also, it's a roll-on. So that's, you know, another difference here. I always liked roll-ons, you know, usually you get them as like a travel thing to bring with you. So it's just very convenient, you know, it's not gonna make a mess or anything. So I'll put some on here and see what the deal is. Yeah, so immediately you can you can tell like it's definitely like a light smooth musk, just a little bit warm, and then also you have that amber note. So, you know, it, it gives it a, just a touch of warmth, but nothing too heavy or too overpowering. Yeah, even even a little bit refreshing, kind of like a warm springtime breeze or something, you know, kind of along those lines. And it has a really nice, kind of more intimate projection. So, you know, it's really nice just kind of hovering around you, um, which I quite like. Then, yeah, it has a very clean smell, you know? Nothing, nothing that will give you a headache, nothing that will offend anybody else's uh, nostrils or anything. Then, moving on to Let's see, Santal. So the only Santal I've ever heard of is Santal 33 from Le Labo, which I have not tried. Been looking forward to that, but I'm gonna be looking forward to this Santal here. And again, according to their site, the main notes here are cardamom, amber, sandalwood, orchid, and cassis. So primarily, it's a little bit woody, it's a little bit spicy, uh, and coming right into it. Oh yeah, that wood note immediately, you don't even have to think. As soon as it hits your nose, spicy woodsy. So this, this is kind of like, uh, oh, I like this one already. This is like walking through a forest, you know? Like a real old growth sort of forest, you know, it's been there for a hundred years. Um, let me put this on my other wrist. So. Yeah, that has a really nice natural smell. Um, I would say the cardamom is also pretty prominent and I really like cardamom. It's that nice spicy warm sort of note. It blends really well with the sandalwood and the amber. The sandalwood is the main wood note here, blending that with the cardamom and a little bit of the amber. It's a great mixture. It's 
Again, more of an intimate fragrance, but still very prominent, very... Yeah, this one, this one's a good one. This one, this is a... Uh, kind of a cozy fragrance, you know? I could imagine this, like, sitting by a campfire or your fireplace in the winter, you know? That woodsy, spicy smell. Very, very nice. It has a touch of sweetness, I imagine, from the florals, but again, it's a supernatural uh, sort of smell. Even just a little bit grassy, kind of that natural plant smell. Um, then, moving on to the next one, which is Muse. So Muse, Muse is a sweet floral fragrance. It has coconut, peony, magnolia, bergamot, sandalwood, and amber. So quite a lot of notes, and I bet, I mean, again, it has the uh, the sandalwood in it, so it's probably gonna be pretty good. So here, oh, it's definitely sweeter than the Santal. So I guess I'll put this higher up on my other arm. So, oh yeah, so besides the sweetness, there's also, you know, you kind of get that fruitiness from like the coconut, I would say. And also, the bergamot is very, very prominent. You really get that juicy, citrusy note. Super refreshing. And then the sweetness, like I said, also from uh, some of the florals, like the, the peony and the magnolia. But this is... I would almost say it has some, a kind of a vanilla smell. There's no vanilla in it, according to the list, but it definitely has that kind of nice, sweet smell. Um, and again, not too sweet, still kind of on the natural smelling side of things. And just a touch of the warmth from the sandalwood and the amber and things like that. It's actually pretty strong. I think it's the strongest so far, which I like. And it, it somehow has a little bit of um, like crispness, like refreshingness as well, which is kind of cool. It blends all these things together. The next one is called Poppy. And this one is a citrus floral. And it has, let's see. Lang Lang, Rose, Lemon, and Orange Blossom. So again, I'll put this on my other arm. And... Oh, the citrus here is way, way stronger than the other ones. So put this on. Yeah, that's a really nice burst of citrus. That's like... Pretty much you're just opening, you're just slicing up a bunch of citrus fruits. Mainly, mainly the lemon here. But you also got that Orange Blossom. And the Orange Blossom is, I mean, a very similar scent to orange, but just softer and sweeter and smoother. So that, mixed with the lemon, and of course the florals, is super refreshing. The, uh, the rose actually is also a very, very strong note here. I would say besides the rose, like, it's the rose here, and then it's the lemon. So you're getting this really nice burst of both of those notes. Yeah, very refreshing. And the rose, it, I mean, I, we used to have uh, a rose bush growing right so outside of our window. This smells almost exactly like the real thing. And that's hard to do. That is very hard to do. But, yeah, very crisp and refreshing. Rose is one of, the, I would say, rose is not as sweet as other florals. It's more of a crisp sort of note. And that's what you get from this fragrance, which I really enjoy. Then, then moving on to the next one, which is called X. This is a deep and green fragrance, which has notes of musk, moss, jasmine, violet, rose, sandalwood, and cardamom again. So we're going higher up on the arm this time <laughs> to test it. Uh, increase of the elbow here. So, oh, that cardamom immediately. The cardamom, that's, again, cardamom's uh, uh, one of my favorite notes of all time. It has such a nice... The interesting thing, I would say, it almost has kind of like a, almost a vetiver smell, like kind of a dried, grassy, breezy sort of smell. I imagine maybe that's from the sandalwood, you know, mixing the cardamom and the sandalwood, because sandalwood's more of a dry, solid fragrance. Then again, there's the rose in it, which gives it a little bit of crispness and some moss and some musk. You could definitely tell that this is kind of a more deep and green, foresty kind of scent. 
almost, it could just be me, but I can smell almost a little bit of pine. Um, but again, it's probably just that sandalwood note kind of evolving in its woodsiness, but this is a really good one. It's also pretty strong. Um, definitely, again, still going with that natural scented sort of thing, which I really like. Not too sweet here. Again, very natural, like you're walking through a forest, maybe there's a cold stream going nearby, you know, and some moss. Then the next one has an interesting name, Sphinx. So Sphinx is a woody and light fragrance. And it only has two two notes, uh, supposedly, which is sandalwood and Egyptian musk. So Egyptian musk alone sounds super luxurious and then mixed with sandalwood, 10 times more luxurious. So this is Sphinx. So I'm gonna put some on, again, on the the other crease of my, my elbow. Uh, and, okay, so right away, the Egyptian musk is, it's definitely a very light type of musk. You know, you're not going super heavy here. This is similar to the original, which also has a pretty light, clean musk. Super light musk here. Mixed with the sandalwood. Yeah, super light, super clean. Very luxurious here. And more of an intimate fragrance. It kind of reminds me a little bit, just just a little bit of um, Not A Perfume from Juliet Has A Gun, because that also is a very intimate, soft fragrance. That's an Ambrox fragrance, obviously. This is different notes, but it has that similar, very soft, very smooth, intimate sort of um, approach to it. And then the last one that I have is called Voyeur, which is a soft and warm fragrance with vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. Some of my favorite note combinations of all time. And I've run out of arm space that I could reach with my nose, so I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, I guess. So, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so the vanilla is really nice here. Some some fragrances, at least in my opinion, they kind of overdo the vanilla. They go like that more artificial vanilla sugary scent, but this is like a warm, soft, cozy vanilla. Very natural, mixed with the sandalwood and the amber. You know, the amber is very smooth, very soft. The sandalwood is kind of grounding it there. The vanilla is the strongest note overall for the Boyer fragrance. Really nice mixture though, because vanilla obviously is kind of a more naturally sweet, lighter fragrance, and then you mix it with the heavier ones, which are the sandalwood and the amber. So overall, this is a really nicely balanced fragrance. Very like, very feminine, you know, you're getting this kind of soft and sweet sort of, of fragrance. Very, very nice. Again, more of an intimate scent, but still, um, still prominent enough to, to be appreciated. Yeah, and again, a little bit of cleanness, kind of like a clean laundry, uh, at least I think so. But that is the whole sample set. As you can see, it's empty now. But th I mean, this is great. This is, I, I like I said, I really like that these are fragrance oils and not just mostly alcohol, mostly water. You know, this is the real, the essence almost of uh, these scents, which I really enjoy. If I had to pick, when it, or I'm trying to think, Santal, ooh, they're all really good. But I would say for me, I really, really enjoy probably Santal and mm, maybe X the most. You know, those really nice, prominent, more natural, foresty scents. Those are really delicious. And then of course, I mean, these are all such agreeable, agreeable scents that it would be hard for me, to, I imagine, to find anyone who would dislike them because, you know, they're, they're just like I said, super agreeable, uh, approachable, just likable fragrances. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about um, Riddle Oil and their, their roll-on fragrances. But uh, thank you for sending these to me. This was a really wonderful um, thing to to review and to have and uh, I'm definitely definitely gonna be using these uh, probably later today and just 
continuously. But that is the video. So if any of you have anything uh, to say or any questions, of course, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you like the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week. So stick around for those.